What's up all the people on the internet, my name is Malo, and this is Daily Plus. Hello, hello everyone, once again, and welcome back to Daily Plus, your favorite show about everything Eurovision. There is only about a month now until it's the big Eurovision week. Can you believe it? This week we don't have a lot of news, but we do have a fun fact, and of course a song of the week. So let's get started. We are unfortunately starting with a little bit of sad news. Last week, Rochez Cicero, who represented Germany at the 2007 Eurovision Song Contest, sadly passed away at age 45. Rochez was a famous German jazz singer, known and loved all over the country, but he sadly passed away due to a stroke. Here at ESC Plus, we are sending our thoughts to the friends and family of Cicero, and let's take a listen to a little bit of his 2007 entry to remember the kind man and the wonderful musician. There isn't much more to say on this topic, but I just want to say, Rishi Cicero, thank you for the music. With the month of April being a reality, we are starting to see a lot of the Eurovision pre-parties. The Eurovision pre-parties are taking place all over Europe, and this is a chance for many of the artists to show off their song, meet all the other contestants, meet all the fans, and promote their song even more. We already have two pre-parties this weekend. First we had the pre-party in Riga, and yesterday we had the pre-party in Moscow. Now we have a couple pre-parties left, so let's take a look at those. On the 9th of April, April, we have the biggest of this year's pre-parties. Eurovision's concert is taking place in Amsterdam, and a record number 27 of the participating artists for this year's Eurovision will be at the party. This is definitely one of the biggest Eurovision parties, and it's been held over the last couple years. However, we also have a brand new party this year, and that's on the 12th of April. The Israeli town Tel Aviv is inviting us all to Israel for the pre-party Israel Calling. This is the first time that Israel will be holding a Eurovision pre-party, and currently there are 14 X confirmed for this pre-party. Party. And finally, on the 17th of April, we have the London Eurovision Party. This is also one of the well-known parties that has been taking place for many years. 15 of this year's contestants have confirmed their participation at the London Eurovision Party. And we will also see three guest artists on the stage in London. If you want to know everything there is to know about all these pre-parties, then remember to check Eurovision.tv. They have all the links and all the info you need right there. And finally, with the month of April being here, it also means we start seeing the polls from OHE. OHE is the official fan clubs all over Europe and the rest of the world for the Eurovision Song Contest. And every single year they have a special poll to find out who their winner is. Currently we have the results from rest of the world, which is all the countries that don't have an official OHE, and we have the results from Belarus. You can check out those results if you go to our website escplus.com and you can look forward to seeing more of the OHE polls over the next couple weeks. The OHE poll has been going on since 2007. Last year the winner of the poll was Il Volo, who as you know won the televoting and got third at the Eurovision Song Contest. That was the news, now for a fun fact. Did you know that you don't actually have to be from the country you're singing from at the Eurovision? In the rules of the Eurovision Song Contest, nowhere does it state you have to be from the country that you're representing. That is why someone like Serhat from Turkey can represent San Marino. And if I wanted to represent Russia, nowhere in the rules does it say that I couldn't do that. However, a lot of countries do have their own rules in their national selections, stating that either the singer, the songwriter, or both have to be from the country. But in the official rules, they don't say anything about it. Now let's go listen to the song of the week. The song of the week this week comes from my country, Denmark. We're going back to 1989 and to a true Eurovision classic. It's time to listen to Birte Kjær and Vi Maler Byen Rød. Mela Bunuel came third in the Eurovision Song Contest in 1989, and it is definitely a fan favorite. Not only is it a favorite among Eurovision fans, but it's also still a big hit in Denmark. Pretty much everyone knows the song. And if you live in Denmark and you don't, just ask your parents. I am sure they know it. Well, there you go. That was all we had for Daily Plus this week. I know it was a short episode, but we didn't really have much to cover. Remember to leave a like and a favorite if you enjoyed this episode, and click subscribe button for all the fun stuff we do right here on ESC+. And if you want all the latest news as soon as it comes out, then remember to check our website escplus.com. We have news, we have polls, we have exclusive video views, we have everything you need. So check that out if you want. And if you want some more from me, I have a show called Super Showtime. It's all about music and song and tests, all those kinds of things. Check it out if you want. But that's all for today. See you next week.